Hi, it's Tiffany Wood. Welcome to your pose of the week. Today we're going to build off of the hero pose we did and create a pose called a Bharad Vajasana 1 or 2, depending on your practice. So, I'll show you Bharad Vajasana 1 from a couple of different angles. And the first is you'll take both feet off to the side of your pelvis and you'll take the arch of one foot, the top, and let it rest in the sole, the arch of the other foot. And for a lot of people, this is really hard to sit up straight. So I like to use this top shin kind of like a, a handle. I keep my legs steady rooting down and then I can use that to pull my body back towards vertical spine. The arm position for this one will take the uh, arm that's opposite to where your feet are, palm out and really brighten up in your heart, take a nice big smile and keep the lift in your inner body. Turn your palm behind you, reach back and grab the opposite bicep or forearm. You can simply bring that right hand back down or place it over to the opposite thigh. So as you root down through your seat, take a deep breath in and puff up like a smile. And then as you exhale, turn. Turn your gaze towards the shoulder That's Bharat Vajasana 1. The other option for this pose is to take half hero pose. So we've already covered in another pose of the week how the feet look in Virasana. So no sickling, keep the feet really strong. You've got equal length on the inside, outside edge of your feet. We've already done the full lotus pose, so we'll take the half lotus pose in this position. Once again, strong feet, strong ankles. Turn your knee and your inner thigh out. Keep the foot and the ankle in the same shape. You can lift up your hips to get that knee down to the floor. When the knee moves down, the foot can lift up to the opposite thigh. Fingers on the floor, pick yourself up, scooting your outer hip right next to that inner heel. Arm up, big tall, tall, tall breath. This might be a good bus stop for a lot of you, just to see, can you sit here happily? <laughs> Reach the top arm back behind and again the option is to grab the bicep or the forearm hand to your knee root down rise up big smile and turn a little more advanced expression of this pose if this arm is easily behind you you can see my fingers wiggling you can bow forward find your foot Opposite hand to your knee, and you can even take the fingers, turn them in towards the knee, root that back down, and now find your anchor, ground into the earth, big, full, bright, beautiful breath in, shoulder blades on your back. I think this pose is so beautiful. And then as you exhale, open your heart to the back. There you go. So the modifications for Bharadvajasana 2. It's a half hero pose, one leg back in the half hero position, active feet, thigh bone coming straight out of the pelvis. If this is uh, too much and you feel like you're really sloping, grab a blanket and prop up the straight leg hip. Okay, from there, it'll be the same entry. Bend the knee, 
strong ankle, foot, and shin. Lean way over so that the bent leg, knee comes down to the ground. And then reach the foot on top. Widen the inner thigh of the ground, uh, your left leg. Widen the sit bone, keeping the knee down. And here we go. Baradvajasana legs with a prop under the pelvis. Inner body bright, side body's long. Reach up, tall, tall, tall. Hand turns behind. Big bow to find the foot or maybe your forearm. And here's the pose. Supported from below. Bharadvajasana, one and two. Enjoy. <laughs>